Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and back to London. I'm actually out and about today in central London and it just occurred to me that I'm very close to Fornham and Mason so I think I'm gonna have a little quick scoot inside and see if they have the peppermint bark because they didn't have it when I went but some of you guys commented saying that you got it after I'd been there so I'm gonna have a little look because that peppermint bark man it was so good so we're actually coming up to the back entrance to Fordham and Mason now Google tells me that it's not that busy right now which seems quite surprising but let's test it out and see if it is <laughs> right I've come to the Christmas food section but unfortunately the peppermint bark is sold out I just asked one of the lovely ladies that works here and yeah unfortunately it is gone but I mean I'm here and it's definitely not as busy as it was when I was last here. So, you know, it'd be rude not to have a little look around, right? So, do you know what? I'm thinking, see this I'm here, I might as well try out the parlor that they have here and just have a little sit down lunch. Is that a bit extravagant? You've got to treat yourself sometimes, you know. Merry Christmas to me and all that. So here is the menu. I'm actually super tempted to go all out and go for their parlor tea. Because you get a dish and then you also get two scones and a pot of tea. I'm really, really tempted. Otherwise, they have these nice savoury options here. So I was also looking at their turkey sandwich. Um, they do have, so the carnation chicken salad looks nice, but that's actually in that option down there as well. They also do like build your own sun. Days. They have cakes, shakes and floats, soft drinks. And then over here they've got their hot drink selection as well. And then some sparkling wine and wine. <laughs> and even some beers and ciders as well. I didn't know that they did their own beers and ciders. So I did decide to go with the parlor tea. I've gone for their carnation chicken salad and then I've also just gone with their regular afternoon tea. It is quite noisy in here guys, sorry if you can't hear me too well. I'm trying to speak really close to the microphone. They've got some really cute decor on the outside. I think with this being an ice cream parlor as well, you certainly get like lots of kids and stuff wanting to come, which is really nice. It's such a nice little cute fancy experience, isn't it? Here is the carnation chicken salad and then the scones. You get clotted cream and jam. There is some fiery debate going on in the comment section of my last vlog about Rachel and me having a little uh, controversy over whether cream or jam goes first, but um, I'm sticking with cream first, guys. <laughs> So there's a bit of a queue now that I'm leaving. I think I just arrived at a nice little lull point to get in really quick. But it was really nice. The carnation chicken salad was so good, I literally devoured it. I'm so tempted to get one of the Fordham and Mason Christmas puddings just because they're so iconic, even though Christmas puddings actually not my favorite thing. I know my family would like it. Maybe I could just get a little one and then at least I get to taste it, you know? So they actually recommend that you try their Christmas pudding with their famous cognac butter. So they have little signs by the Christmas pudding saying that this is the one to go for it to go with your Christmas pudding. I've had some people comment on my vlogs asking like, what would you have this with? Well, Christmas pudding or mince pies. But to be honest, I think you can have those kind of boozy butters with pretty much anything. Like I've had it with some nice tarts and stuff and it just adds a nice little boozy kick to whatever dessert you're having. Oh dear, the basket's out, we're in trouble. How cute is this? It's Christmas coal. Oh, what is it actually though? A merry mouthful of toffee cinders. Isn't that so cool? I love that. So the Christmas coal is $12.95. I think that's so cute. They even have pickled Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They've got pickled clementines. I like the look of the figgy mustard. That looks really nice. By the way, I do have a vlog already up from walking around Fordham and Mason. Unfortunately, it was a lot busier then, but um, I think I did show a lot more stuff. If you want to go have a look at that, I will have it linked up in the eye above. Honestly, I could just spend all day here just looking around. Like, look at all the pretty packaging and everything. Ooh, look, they have a solid chocolate gingerbread man. So if you're not a gingerbread fan, but you like the look of a gingerbread man, <laughs> You can get one of those. They've got a really cool assortment of crackers to go with your cheese. They've got all butter, beetroot, and then they've got charcoal and cumin. So 
I'm up on the Christmas floor, but you can have a look down. The one just below for me is the entrance floor. That's where all their teas are. It is busy, but it's definitely so much quieter than when I came. And to be fair, I came on a weekend. It's now a weekday. And then right down on the lower ground floor is the food hall. So I actually picked up a little pie. Uh, it's obviously wrapped up now, but I will show you later because I'm going to have it for dinner. I had to get out of there before I did more damage. I have got myself a nice little bag of goodies. I'm not going to show you everything that I got though because well, you know, it's Christmas, like, so I'm bringing stuff home to some people back in Ireland. So I think I'm just gonna take myself back home. I am gonna wander on by the Ritz, though. I didn't get to see the Ritz last time we were here, and it looks pretty festive from what I can see from this angle. Also, look, you can see the lights are starting to turn on. You probably can't pick it up too well on the camera just yet. It is still afternoon time, but it is quite a dull day, so it's nice that you can kind of see it if you're just walking around. The lights on Old Bond street are really pretty as well you can see there's lots of fancy shops down here like we've got prada valentino <laughs> ysl but yeah look it's really nice it's like that sort of peacock feather i assume that's what that is oh yeah it is and then you have loads of individual peacock feathers down down the street i think that's really nice oh this is really nice this is the caviar house and they've got a nutcracker in the window i was gonna say toy soldier but no he looks like his jaws wired for cracking nuts right <laughs> That's the only difference, isn't it? Because they, they look pretty similar. <laughs> Maybe this is only a me problem. You can let me know in the comments down below, but I never know whether to call it like a toy soldier, a nutcracker. I assume just a nutcracker's crack nuts. That's the only difference. <laughs> Ignore my ramblings. Anyway, we are coming up to the Ritz. <laughs> you just feel so fancy. I love the iconic like London taxi, the black cab pulling up. There she is. So if we walk on down, we can see all of the Christmas decor the whole way down across this entrance of, this is Piccadilly Street? Pretty sure this is Piccadilly Street that we're on now. Isn't it so nice? I've actually never been to the Ritz. I've heard that their afternoon tea is okay. Like I've not heard that it's the best to be honest. My favourite afternoon tea in London is in the Langham. It is super, super fancy. It's very expensive. Actually, to be fair, like I think if you're getting it without alcohol, it's probably about the same price as Porto and Mason. But the room that they do it in is absolutely stunning. Like if you're coming to London and you want to go all out and have a super fancy afternoon tea, my recommendation is definitely the Langham. Just waiting on a Jubilee line train to come along, heading back to Canary Wharf. Oh, I think we've got one coming right now. I've only just realised that this station doesn't have doors. Most of the Jubilee line does have doors, which is why it's actually my favourite line. It's the only line that has doors. There's your doors. It is much later on. I've actually been watching Stena line videos on YouTube to try and just get my head around what's happening on Friday for when I head home to Ireland. Just because we have Pumba and we're taking a car and I've never done this before. So yeah, I'm just trying to get my head around it all and just make sure I'm organized and have everything I need to have for Pumba. Um, but yeah, I am back home, obviously. <laughs> It was so nice just having a little browser in earlier in Forman Mason and going for that little fancy lunch as well. I actually ended up doing a live stream on YouTube today because my vlog would not export that was supposed to go for the premiere. And I literally tried like three or four times, it kept failing, tried again, just there, export fine. <laughs> Didn't change a single thing. No idea why that was happening. Sometimes these things just happen, don't they? But thank you to everybody that came to the live and had a good chat with me. It was good fun, actually. But uh, I'm gonna get myself into my pajamas <laughs> and get ready for bed. Oh, I wanted to say as well, the pie from Fornham and Mason, it was pork and blue cheese. It was absolutely divine, <laughs> really nice. So I've been absolutely spoiled today for food. Uh, but now I'm gonna just snuggle down with Pumba and uh, yeah, we're gonna probably turn in for the night. So I'll leave the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for all of your lovely comments. I'm loving reading them throughout Vlogmas and on the Ulani vlogs, and the Disneyland vlogs and everything else. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.